Ciao. It's hashtag wine Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday. Tis Wednesday. Uh, middle of the week, second to the last week of July. Crazy. Um, yeah, so tonight we're gonna go through, uh, we're gonna taste one wine. Hey, I can't see Hey, that. it's Tabitha. Oh, I couldn't see the name. Um, we're gonna taste one wine tonight. Um, I told you guys last week that we were going to Aloha from Hawaii. That's right. So jealous. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's so cool. Um, it must be like what? Lunchtime for you guys? Nah. It must be pretty early it's over there. It's late. It's either super, it's super it's, early. I think it's early. a four hour difference or five hours. I think it's more than that. Anyway. Um, yeah, so last week we said that we were going to take, um, yeah, it's 1 p.m. over there, six hours. Um, well, happy lunch. Happy <laughs> lunch. <laughs> um, yeah, so last week I Very said that awesome. we are going to go through uh, kind of around the world. Last week, where were we? California. We had a uh, California wine. This week we're drinking a French wine. Um, and then we'll see what bottle we pick up next week. I don't know. Might feel adventurous or might stick to the classics. Who knows? Never know. You never know. All right. All right. Sure. So, um, this particular bottle I got from our neighborhood Trader Joe's. Uh, it's a Chateauneuf du Pop. It is, um, I have seen it in other stores. Um, so... I don't know. Hopefully you guys can find a bottle or you were able to get one for tonight's tasting. Um, so this particular, so Chateauneuf du Pop um, is actually a region of France. It's kind of like, um, that's my fave. Ooh, yay. Um, so it's really funny because whenever you see Chateauneuf du Pop, there's actually a lot of Chateauneuf du Pop. Chateauneuf du Pops. Because um, that's technically the, the region it comes from. There's like a small part in the Rhone Valley region that um, where Chateauneuf du Pop does come from. It's a blend, right? It is a blend. It's a red blend. It has, I wrote it down, 60% Grenache, 15% Mourvedre, 15% uh, Chinsol, and 10% Syrah. So it's a... We'll that's oh, a nice... The boys are wanting... That's a nice blend. Uh, I actually really love this wine. Um, to your point, Tabitha, it's um, it's one of my favorites. It's a good, like, easy drinking wine. Goes with a lot of different foods um, and um, types of cuisine. So I really like it. So let's let's talk about it. Let's do the thing. So this is a 2018. Um, Way Le better year than 2020. Fiac du Pop, Chateauneuf du Pop, uh, French red blend. Um, so let's talk about the look. Look at that color. Can you guys see that? No, you guys see the ring light, but that is beautiful. It's a, a nice medium body wine, so I can see through the glass. It's not uh, full bodied. Um, I would call this color though garnet. Like when you look at it in certain lights, it's got like those deep, deep red hues, not like ruby. Yeah, that's what you're saying, yeah. It has more of like a red hue than a pink. It's good. It smells good. It smells good too. It smells some cherries. Yeah, I, to me, this is a really earthy. Mm, yeah, super earthy. Um, I smell red fruits, um, some dried fruit, like some, um, some what did raisins. I say earlier? Raisins. Um, maybe a little bit of like thyme or smoke. I don't know. It's, um, it's a good wine. It, it smells really complex. That might be because there's, what, four different grapes in it? Mm -hmm. So, 
I like it. it smells good. It smells good. Cheers. Mm. So smooth. Yeah, it doesn't have it's not a, a whole lot of tannins or acidity, like no. Maybe mid for both, like I would say medium, low medium. For both tannins and acidity. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. Uh light to medium body too, in terms of taste. It's a medium body and look. Um, but it's pretty light tasting, although the alcohol content yeah, that is after pretty you can, can, uh, Feel it yeah, it kind of like clears all the sinuses. <laughs> it's good. It has like, it's what, 14.5% alcohol? Yeah. yeah. It's a nice uh, kick in the boot. It has a really long finish though. It's smooth, but it has a really long... Long alcohol burn. burn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. I think it's really good. No. What does the wine wheel say? So fun fact, we um, shout out to Wine Folly because they just yeah. keep surprising us left and right. Um, we so I ordered one of those tasting like kits, and uh, this tasting kit came with these really fancy tasting journals. Very cool. Um, it came with this wine wheel. It came with these tasting placemats. Um, I opted for the option without the wine glasses. They had one with wine glasses. Um, I opted for the one without because we have plenty. Don't need any more wine glasses. Actually, we do need more wine glasses. We just need to get rid of our old ones and get new, better ones. Yes. They're on our wedding registry, so there's that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this tasting wheel, um, well, it's a flavor wheel, so it's really cool because it gives you, um, so you start in and work yourself out. So, um, it gives you categories for each taste. So for example, like in the dry, dried fruit ca category, it says, um, you know, there could be uh, either flavors or smells of raisin, fig, date, fruitcake. Like, it gives you those tasting hints so that as you're writing down notes and tasting different wines, um, it's just an easy guide to reference um, and leave out on the table so that you don't have to, like, think too hard. No one likes to think too hard when you're drinking good wine. Um struggling right now too <laughs> i'm tired today guys i apologize I was just long day at work not bad just, just long. yeah but yeah it's an easy drink um really smooth i know we already said that what would you eat with this this is definitely a chicken wine no, no, not to be mean, or it's just me, me and body. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pair this with any, you know, yeah, red meat. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have this with red meat. Yeah, like a lemon chicken, uh, mm. maybe like uh, pork, but nothing super flavorful pork. Like, um, what, what would I say? I don't know. Something light too on the pork side. This, I think, this goes all together with light. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. I think um, chicken or like even like a nice salad, not just any salad, a nice salad. Okay, Walter. <laughs> um, My dad says that anytime he cooks dinner and he makes a salad, um, and he did this growing up and he still does this, we would be like, hey dad, what kind of salad are we gonna have? Um, and he'd go, or no. He would be describing dinner. He, he would say like, make a pasta, and you know some veggie, and then I make a nice salad. <laughs> I love it every time I hear this. So. Yeah, it's amazing. But the salads are always nice. Though. They are always, always nice. They're always so always good. Always nice. That's for sure. <laughs> Super <laughs> simple, but so good. Yeah, they're so I love good. It. Yeah. But yeah, like a nice. Um, you stuck on that salad. word. <laughs> But you would have to, you need some type of protein with this. You can't just do just a salad. I don't think this is. Yeah. 
Or, you know, I've made, so, um, a dish that we've made a lot in my family is, um, like pasta with tuna sauce. And the tuna sauce is made with, uh, a tomato, it's a tomato base. Like a sauce with tuna in it. Kind of tuna sauce sounds funny. Yeah. Or well, it's like can you know, like canned tuna, the nice kind that's in olive oil. And... The old nice can. Yeah. <laughs> nice can tuna with a nice The salad. old nice can corn. <laughs> the gosh. old nice can bacon. You know what? I'm saying because the what? red sauce is more hearty. <laughs> Some nice can this is not... salmon. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's really good. And you know what? I'm going to make it for you guys. You guys can cook along with me. I'll post my recipe because tell you what, once you try it... You'll think of tuna in a different way. Again, you have to buy the right kind of tuna, though. That's true. You I'm, don't just buy, like, your star kiss. I know. I'm just, I'm just giving you a hard time. You know I love you. Mm. It's my job to give you a hard time. Who else would do oh. it? No you said all. <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> yeah, they would. Oh, my gosh. You. So, um, but, yeah, so I, I would make this with... I mean, I think wine goes great with pasta. I feel like I say that every week. It's like, oh, pasta would go really good with this wine. It's because pasta is like the it's universal. A French wine, why don't we have a French bulldog too? Oh. That might be. A French wine for the French. The Frenchies. But uh, yeah, this is good. This is really good. Yeah, I definitely, I'll definitely have this again. Yeah. yeah. We bought, yeah, so I bought this again from Trader Joe's, uh, price point here, this is in Florida, but price point was twenty four ninety nine for the bottle. Um, you know, decent wine, I would, I would. I'd I would, have to have this again, yeah. Yeah, I would too. It's, it's, it's a drink, like it's a daily drinker. It's something that you can open daily yeah. and then have like a, two bottles and, and not be like, well, you, you'd be drunk. Let's get it straight. But it wouldn't burn your palate out, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's not super bold and um, full-bodied. Like, yeah. You'd like be able to drink, other... too. Like, you could share, like, with three people. Yeah, you could definitely. Yeah. Them. For sure. I like it. I like it a lot. Tell me what you guys think. If you've had a Chateauneuf du Pop that you really like, drop it in the comments. Um... Any parting thoughts? Yes. Oh, definitely. I, I'm just recommend it. Basically, that's it. I'm sorry. I'm tired, guys. Super tired. <laughs> cool. Uh, All right. That's this week's episode on Hashtag Wine Wednesday. Um, we'll see you guys right back here next Wednesday. Um, I'll be cooking live. I know I said this last week, but I will be cooking live next week. Or this weekend because I haven't done it in a while and I feel like cooking with you guys for you guys um, alongside you guys whatever you know what I'm saying but have a wonderful week we'll catch up soon happy hashtag one Wednesday happy hump day see you guys later Bye.